welcome back to episode two of Finding the Athlete in Me. We are in Cyprus. So today, like, well, this week, I'm going to go through like basically a week of my workouts, but it's going to be a little bit different. We're kind of improvising. We're going off a little bit of the 10K plan, but also in terms of like my workouts, we're just going to adapt it with the equipment that we have. So stay tuned for to see how I get on in Cyprus. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Stay tuned for a week of workouts whilst I am on holiday. Jim, this is the vibe. This is what we are working with for this week. Hello and welcome to a week of workouts whilst I am in Cyprus. Um, so, hi Simon. Hi. We've got, let's see, what have we got? We've got some mats. We've got, these are like decent, usually when you go to like hotel gyms, they're usually like the really small weights, but we've got 12.5s, 15s, a 10, 20, 17.5, and 7.5s. So, not working, working all right with that, that's good for me. A little cross trainer type thing, a bike, <laughs> some, Old school bars, um, you can put some bands on there. We have, now this is not bad, squat rack, pull up bar, and then I've got a treadmill, so I'll definitely be doing my runs on there because it's like way too hot, it's like 26 degrees by the time I'm already awake. So let's get into this workout.
little post workout. So we've got Greek yogurt or just yogurt as I hear with local strawberries, which we got from this cute little place. I'm gonna pop a little picture on the screen here um, inside the road. And then just some hydration. So electrolytes post workout as I'm sweating so much uh, <laughs> in this heat. seven kilometers but um to be honest the rain would be a, a win right now um so we're just gonna go in and just see what we get done and um, just getting my legs moving is the main thing um let's have this on properly yes <laughs> um, i will take you along and well hopefully the treadmill is free there's only one treadmill so if not it'll be on the bike so we'll let's see what happens here we are gym to myself. Yeah. Let's get this over and done with. So I ended up doing five kilometers. Oh, this is so good. So I ended up doing five kilometers. I'm gonna go get a shower before going to watch the Euros and get some food. So, yeah, 5k, I'll take that. Absolutely boiling, even with the aircon on. Um, but we got something done. Move my feet, and that's all that matters. Sometimes it's not about sticking to the plan perfectly, but adjusting to the environment or your circumstances that you're in. Let's go get a shower and some food. actually rather quite hot. As you can probably tell, this video is a little bit shorter, not so many workouts <laughs> as you would usually see. So what I want to do now is just kind of go through the holiday, the workouts and a little bit of a debrief this week. So Cyprus is the trip that we just went on and the aim of that trip was, well the purpose of that trip was for uh, my fiance's cousin's wedding. It was absolutely beautiful, the most stunning venue. Shani looked absolutely gorgeous as she always does. It was just such a lovely day. We booked um, to have a week, so it was we were chilling. Now, as somebody who's self-employed, I make a huge mistake of not booking enough time off work. You know, legally in the UK, the minimum I think it is 28 days that you should be having off of annual leave. And I'd only had two this year, and they were all to do with like other people's celebrations so they weren't actual like days off so I took a week off um work and did absolutely nothing uh, very much needed everybody no matter how much you love your job and you love what you do everyone needs time where they just rest reset um and, and do nothing whether that's mentally whether that's physically for me that is super important that was the purpose of the holiday was a break now I am working towards a 10k where I'm trying to get a PB um, I'm wanting to kind of hit a mark of around, you know, the 45 to 47 minute mark in this 10k. Um, therefore, I have been following a plan. I'm also in a slight calorie deficit at the moment because I have my best friend's wedding in September. I'm a bridesmaid and I just want to feel my best physically and mentally. And for me, that means um, just losing a little bit of body fat. 
to just feel better on the day. I just want to be completely in the moment. I'm not worrying about anything in particular. This week I had said no to, um, I'm not going to be obviously tracking. I'm, I'm not going to focus on a calorie deficit. I'm not aiming for any weight loss whilst I'm on holiday. I am just completely enjoying myself. Me and my partner, we're such foodies going somewhere else, enjoying their culture, their foods. I just absolutely love. So for me, not focusing on the calorie deficit whilst I'm on holiday, just enjoying myself. I did set out to do as many workouts as I could. I packed loads of gym stuff. Um, the gym had a good setup. It had what I needed to do. But as you can tell, I only did two workouts and that's absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with going with an intention when you're on holiday, I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z and for that to change. And that's something I say to my clients all the time is you can change your goals, you can change your intentions just like own it um, rather than being like oh like well I didn't do that because of this I didn't want to I was having such a good time chilling having slow mornings waking up lying in just relaxing going to the beach I was having such a good time doing that that I actually didn't want to train and for me taking that time away from training um I did get something done which is which is good that's what I wanted at the time but towards the end of the week I was just like no I just want to chill um, but taking that time off physically and mentally will help your motivation in the long run. By having those small breaks, you're going to be able to come back ready, well rested to keep going. If you're constantly pushing through, especially like when you know that you actually really don't want to and there's something else that you want to do or something you're not willing to do, that's when you're going to reach a burnout. That's when you're going to hit a wall. That's when you're going to stop enjoying like what you're doing. So for me, it was so important to just be like, I don't want to work out anymore. I'm going to wait until I'm back. So yeah, that is actually what happened on week two of finding the athlete in me. Um, some people might be like, oh my gosh, you failed. But absolutely not. I had an amazing week off and I have absolutely no regrets. The next episode will be all about how I get back on track, getting back into the rhythm, the routine. It is officially week one of High Rocks training, my accumulation phase. So this is all about building that aerobic base. We're higher volume stuff, um, smaller rest periods in this phase. Getting myself used to the volume, making sure I actually have the aerobic capacity to go out. Obviously I am working on that 10K as well, but I think they're two align really nicely because I do need to be working on the speed of my running in order to improve in high rocks. Unfortunately, I didn't get into the London ballots. We are my client, but lovely friend Spencer, we were entering it as doubles together. She wants to experience her first high rocks um, and I was gonna be her partner. Unfortunately, we didn't get in. So um, if anyone has tickets, let me know. <laughs> um, but there are other opportunities. Maybe we will take a little trip abroad and do one then instead. So I don't have any high rocks as booked at this moment in time, but I am focusing more on hopefully getting some good races in towards the end of the season when I am going to be feeling fitter and faster and stronger. Um, so I'm excited. So stay with me for episode three, where I go into how I get back on track after holiday. And let's see how I get on. Do I stick to the workouts? Do I find it harder? Find it easy? How are we getting on? What's the first week of high rocks accumulation phase training like? All of that is to come in the next episode. So thank you for staying with me. I'm going to leave a little montage of my um, photos from the holiday so you can see why I obviously enjoyed just having so much fun just chilling instead. So just a rem reminder that it's okay to work out on holiday, it's okay to not work out on holiday, it's okay to have a goal on holiday and stick to what you want to do, but it's also okay to change your mind and just do whatever your heart and soul is telling you and that's what I did this holiday. So I'll see you in episode three. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me a lot. And, and when I get to a thousand subscribers, I will be investing in a nice little vlogging camera. So I'll be able to bring so much better footage as well and get that out more often, etc. cetera. So um, please feel free to like and subscribe if you like this stuff and I'll see you in episode three.